In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the Notion API to create a page with an existing Notion database. And this is what the final result will look like. I'm going to be making the HTTP request using Postman. But once I make the request and get back a successful response, we can go back to our Notion and this is what you'll see. There is now like a new entry within our database and if we open it up, it will have information that relates to what we set as part of the post request. And now I'll show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. So to begin, go ahead and create your own Notion account. And once you've created your own account, go ahead and select the settings and members option here on the left hand side. And then select the integrations option and then select the develop your own integrations link that they have here. Once you click on this link, you should then see this page where it shows all your current integrations and go ahead and just click on this button that says create new integration. And here you can name it like whatever you would like. And I'll go ahead and just name this tutorial example. And then for the next option for associated workspace, go ahead and just click on the workspace that you created for yourself. And then go ahead and just click on submit. And once you see this page, go ahead and just copy the integration token that they have here because we'll need it when we make our uh, HTTP request later. And once we have our token, we can go ahead and go back to the home page of our Notion. And now we just need to go ahead and create a new database for us to make our API call with. And we can easily do that by going to any of these existing pages and just click on this uh, plus icon here and just click on like empty with icon. And now for this option, go ahead and just type in uh, backslash database and make sure you click on the option that says database full page and hit enter. And once you see the screen, just type anything for the title. So I'll just do like title three here. And for the next step, we just need to allow our integration to have access to this specific database. And we can do that by clicking the share button in the top right hand corner and then clicking on invite. And here you can see a list of integrations that we have. Go ahead and just click on the one that you made and then hit invite. And now for the next step, we just need to get this database ID as part of the HTTP request we're going to make. And we can easily do that by just hitting the copy link button here and then go ahead and just pasting it and copying all of the numbers and letters that go right before the question mark and right after like the dot so part of the URL. So what you see here, go ahead and just copy that. And now for this next step, I'll be using Postman to make the API call. You can use any API client you want, but for this tutorial specifically, I'll just be using Postman. So if we switch over to Postman, I'll go ahead and just make a new call and I'll go ahead and change the HTTP action to post because we're gonna be making a post request. And then next, I'll go ahead and just copy what I had from before, but this is like the specific HTTP request we're going to be making. And I forgot to mention earlier in this video that I am following like Notion documentation in order to make this HTTP call. And I'll be sure to leave a link in the description so that you can follow along if you want as well. But this is what it looks like. It basically goes over like all the requirements for the specific HTTP call to create a page in Notion. But now if we go back to Postman, the next step we need to do is to go ahead and fill out the headers. And if we reference the documentation and we switch the language from JavaScript to shell, we can see that it's expecting three different headers, the authorization, content type, and Notion version. So if we go back to Postman and click on the headers tab, the very first header you should use is like authorization. And then go ahead and just paste your secret here. And then for the very next header, we can go ahead and just do content type. And it should just be application JSON. And now for the last header, we can just go ahead and type in Notion version and go ahead and paste this value, which is 2022.0222. And now we just need to fill out the body. So go ahead and just click on the body tab and then click on raw and then make sure this tab says like JSON. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and just copy the existing body from the other API call, but I'll make sure to leave a link in the description with this exact body so that you can copy it as well. And once we're back on our API call, we can go ahead and just paste. And as you can see, this is like all the information regarding the page that we're going to make inside the Notion database, such as like the title, as well as like the icon and database ID. And now for the very last step, go ahead and just replace this database ID key with your own database ID from the previous step. And just go ahead and paste it. And now once you've pasted it, go ahead and send the request. And if you've done all the steps correctly, you should get back a 200 OK status. And now if we check our Notion page, we now see that we successfully created a new page within our Notion database. And if we open it, 
we can see this is like all the information that we pass as part of our request. And those are all the steps regarding how to create a page using the Notion API. And for the next API call, I'll be showing is how to get information for a specific Notion page. And we can do that by going back to Postman and looking at this get request here. And the first change you need to make is the changes to a get request. And the second change we need to make is to go ahead and just add the page ID um, as far as the API call. And we can get the page ID in the response from our post request. So if you scroll down and look at the response, you can see the key of ID here. Let's go ahead and just copy this ID as a page ID and then go back to the get request and go ahead and just paste it here. And for the headers, they use the exact same headers as a post request. So go ahead and just make sure you have all of them here. And now we can send a request and you should get back a status like of 200 OK. And you should see all the information regarding our specific Notion page such as like the title of the emoji and all this other information. And those are all the steps related to getting information about a specific Notion page using the Notion API. And now the very last API call I will show you is how to update the Notion page using the Notion API. And we can do that by making another request. And this time it specifically will be an HTTP patch request. And so go ahead and just make a new request and make sure it says patch here. And as part of the API URL, just do the exact same route as we had before and make sure to also include like the page ID here. So I'll make sure to use the one that I was using previously and just copy it here as part of the API URL. And for the headers, it's the exact same headers. So just make sure you have all three of those. And then the body will now include the updated information that you want to use. So in this case, I'll just be updating the title. So if we go back to our Notion page, you can see the title is this like kale content created this page from notion api and now i'll change it to like updated title one and now if i send this request i should get back a 200 okay and if we go back to notion you can see the title has not been changed like via the notion api and those are all the steps for updating a notion page using like the notion api and that is the end of this tutorial hopefully you found this tutorial helpful if you did please like the video subscribe and leave a comment for any tutorials I should make in the future.